I was an amateur. I didn't always hit it as far as I do today. And just like you, I was constantly trying to improve. I chose Titleist then for the same reasons I do now. The new Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Choose the best for your game. That's what we need. What is it? Four, four per nine? We need uh, eight under? Yeah, that, that, that'd probably be enough given the conditions for tomorrow. May not even need that much, but it's also, it's going to be so difficult tomorrow um, that, uh, you know, I'll go out and try and try and get under par early and just see what the golf course gets. To be fair, you nearly gave yourself enough chances to do that today. I did, yeah. I definitely did. Uh, I, I only hit, you know, I had a, a few um, drives go left in a row on uh, seven, eight, nine that probably cost me, um, you know, a shot or two. Uh, and other than that, I struck just about every shot I hit today beautifully. It was just a matter of, you know, capitalizing. And, you know, it's, what's weird to me is, you know, these mid-range putts, um, you know, it's one thing if they're lipping out or, and I did have quite a few lip out that, that would have gathered some momentum, but quite a few of them were, were missed significantly on, on bad reads. And uh, that's rare for me. So I'm not really putting too much into the stroke. We've been putting a lot of good work in it this week. It's just a matter of trusting our reads and actually getting one right. You know, I felt like I lost a lot of coin flips. And the putts that could break off the right edge or the left edge, and I seem to just, you know, guess wrong each time. And uh, normally, you know, you're 50 50 on it. So, um, uh, that, just one of those days. Can you give some thoughts on Min Wu? Playing with him yeah, this game? incredible game. Absolutely bombs a golf ball. You know, he and I were talking about how we've struggled on the greens this week, but you can tell with how solid and aggressive his stroke is that, that he's not afraid and, and he loves loves rolling the ball. We were both, um, it's just been one of those weeks for us, but he has incredible talent that has, um, you know, upside that, you know, tremendous upside that, you know, he, he could certainly win on any tour at, at any point in time. He's what, got all the shots. What kind of instructions or advice were you giving? Just, um, I think we spoke briefly about, you know, once you're, professional how much you know discipline it takes to kind of stay practicing even in um, you know the, how, how long a year can kind of seem with when you go to 26 to 30 events in a, in a season and a lot of guys kind of bail out and get a little bit lazier but the guys that stay true to it are the ones who over that I've seen over the course of um, you know a few years time you know you consistently stay grounded into into working really hard on your off weeks at home and on the road and it, and it certainly pays off with a lot more consistency. And what about course strategy at, at pro level as opposed to on the juniors? There is a lot. We didn't speak about much of it. But um, this golf course, <clears throat> with, the, with the conditions that you get, requires a, a, a ton of that, a ton of um, uh, picking apart you know, from, from the green backwards, finding where the pin is, missing in the correct location. Uh, but he seemed to certainly do that too because anytime he missed the green, he ended up with a pretty simple pitch, almost made a few. So um, certainly uh, on the right path, absolutely crushes the golf ball, which is a, a really, really uh, intangible trait to have. Have you ever been 7, 8, 9 behind on the last day and made it up? I'm sorry? Have you ever been 7, 8, 9 behind on the last day and made it up? Uh, six at the most. Uh, I, I'm a professional. That was my first win. So. Um, if there's any place to come from way behind, it's here, uh, from where I've seen here, or even like a U.S. Open, you know, a course that that yields higher scores, and knowing that tomorrow is going to be a grind for the leaders going off even later, uh, and, and I'm not going to be that far ahead of them, but the fact that they're all playing together and they're, you know, it's going to be so difficult to have a lot of chances. If I can sneak a few breaks in, you know, get a couple long putts to go or chip in or something like that, just you, I'm going to have to have some magic. You feel like pressure. It's maybe a little off. You. No, yeah, on you. yeah. I didn't. I didn't feel any today. Um, I kind of looked at it like, yeah. I mean, we can go low, and, and but I mean, if I if I didn't play well, it's you know, it's it's no big deal. Like it's you know, it's there was no expectation on on me winning at the start of the day, and uh, therefore I felt a little more free in the ball striking, and it helped. So I'll kind of just go with that tomorrow. Did you draw on three years ago at all going into tomorrow? Yeah. Well, I, just that, just that we've been there and done it, and and that. I mean, that, I started, I think, tied for the lead that day, though, uh, or, or maybe one back or something. So a little bit different situation, but that kind of score in the conditions forecasted uh, would, would do a lot. Uh, I'm not sure how these guys are going to finish up. I mean, I shot a couple under on the back nine, and I know they made the turn, so they can easily do that, too, um, especially if they make putts outside of two and a half feet. So, um, 
Uh, so we'll see how far back it is, but may as well go out tomorrow, try and shoot a good round. If nothing else, gain a lot of momentum uh, going into my, my tournament next week.